this I was just working on on following the movement. Now, unfortunately, there's definitely some bugs with it um, that. Alright, hey guys, time for another episode of Let's Dev with Greg. Today we're going to talk about workflow. Now, what workflow is, is how we go about doing our business uh, and getting stuff done. It's just as important for small projects and small teams to have a good workflow as it is for large teams. Although, with larger teams, um, when things go poorly uh, with the workflow, it can often snowball into you know more time wasted. Whereas a smaller team, you know, it's just you. Uh, but that doesn't mean you don't want to have a good one. So I want to show you guys a neat little tool uh, that I use that kind of really helps me keep my thoughts uh, and ideas managed pretty well. Uh, and it's called Trello, which is the screen that we have right here. Now, it's Trello is a free website uh, task management site uh, that everyone who's working on group-based projects doesn't even have to be games. I recommend checking it out. It's a neat little site, uh, and it's pretty intuitive to use. Um, this is I've made a public board um, for the Let's Dev. So a public board is one that can be seen by anyone, and I'll link that in the description. And what it allows you to do is create lists. So I have our Let's Dev, and this is the project for the Let's Dev. Uh, these, these things are all lists, and inside lists you have cards. So cards have like a title, and then when you click on a card, and there's more information, and in, you can put more info inside the card. Now, the real power is being able to quickly and easily move cards around lists. You can assign um, labels to these so you if, if we you know if we wanted to say like oh you know done and that would be the green label you know now everything this label is green is done right uh, I don't really want that to that's just so there's the, the cool thing is there's lots of different ways you can structure this it's very it's very agile um, which is nice. So in terms of, I wanted to show you this because I just made this uh, a while ago uh, and I wanted to be able to have you guys see you know my workflow and, and how I kind of do stuff and uh, oh one more thing I forgot to mention about Trello is that's super nice you can add members to the team so this board only has one member but if there were a lot of people working on the project you could assign you can see how this is assigned to myself so a project manager could come in or you know a designer or whatever come in and assign uh, you know art and art and animations to different artists and assign them uh, assign them to that card they could even assign a due date for it you know so it's very it's a very nice tool I recommend you guys checking it out uh, and I recommend you guys checking this board out because it kind of shows my initial thoughts for various things and just kind of it's a kind of a window into my brain I guess uh, the, the cooler thing that I wanted to show you actually is it's something I made for you guys it's a let's dev board this is the community board now this is also a public board and what I would like for you guys to do is this is just a an open space for anyone who's interested in this Let's Dev to share ideas or contribute or provide feedback uh, anything you want uh, this is a sticky on how to join pretty much if you don't have a Trello account it's super easy to join you just would follow this link here in step one uh, and then after that or if you already have an account uh, you just you know send me an email or something comment on this video uh, with your Trello name and I'll add you to this board and then you can contribute as much as you want you know part part of this less dev is I really wanted to see how much 
uh, community interaction I could get with people and, 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 and potentially have their ideas matter in terms of what we're doing. And uh, I've had a little bit of that so far, but I feel like I haven't provided you guys enough avenues to do that. So this is just my attempt at, you know, increasing, uh, empowering uh, anyone who wants to. And again, you don't really have to, but uh, I'd appreciate it if you did. So, all right. Um, now, you can see back on my, I have a Let's Dev Episodes card uh, for Episode 7. You can see, show Trello, make it public, got it. Uh, talk about workflow, we're doing that. Um, create that community Trello, got it. So, okay, like the last thing I wanted to show you guys um, was in, in the last episode, I talked about the pitch, and I talked about buddies and how they would follow you, right? And I, I kind of showed you like a little clip, but it wasn't even close to what I was thinking. Um, so, I, let's unmute that. I, I did a l little bit of work over the course of this week, and I want to show you guys what I did. So, this is a lot more like the type of behavior that I want, right? It's, they're following my movements. Um, and, and now I don't really have anything else set up after that, but like they don't die or anything. Like they, like a couple of those guys probably would have got picked off by the spikes or, you know, the cannon. But so that that hasn't happened. But this, I was just working on on following the movement. Now, unfortunately, there's definitely some bugs with it. Um, that uh, uh, where they can kind of get lost at the moment um, and they're not taking all of my commands. Like, notice they missed that jump there. Um, so there's some stuff definitely that needs to get ironed out, but it's a pretty good proof of concept. Um, and they're like little cute, little cute guys, you know, they got, uh, I'm, I'm working, I'm gonna, we're gonna animate the crap out of these guys so that they run and they jump and, you know, when we do our down attacks, they like do something similar, but, you know, just... All that stuff. So that's going to be a fun couple of days um, when we get into that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I'm not sure if you guys if you guys didn't check out the the last uh, video where I was kind of showing the idea. This is basically that. I mean, this I'm I'm pretty happy with the initial. Again, a lot of a lot of a little bugs and issues, but. Uh, assuming that we can figure those out, um, this is a good start. A little bit about uh, this the technical setup of the buddies. Um, it was uh, I, don't, I won't go super deep into it uh, because I actually got a friend of mine, a buddy of mine, <laughs> uh, to to help me out with with this system. So I'm not. 100% sure on it myself, and I need to, to look into it more, but I'll give you the gist of my understanding, uh, is that we've moved a lot of our movement system from our player character controller uh, into what's called a character motor, which will you know, act as an engine for moving something. The reason we did that is so that we can also apply that to other things. Uh, for instance, these buddies. So, like, notice that all of the buddies also have the character motor script on them, and they themselves have a buddy character controller. Notice that the buddies have a motor to follow. Now, buddy one, or buddy, is following the player, while buddy one is following buddy, buddy two is following buddy one, and so on. That's how we get the chain. Uh, and the cool thing about the way that this is set up is it it kind of takes a lot of uh, a lot of the work that we put into setting up our character and just reapplies it again with the buddy. So we get things like just things kind of come out in the wash, like all that hard work we set up for setting up jump effect prefabs and double jump and um, we're sending the same signals to uh, 
uh, like the triggers for animations and stuff. Now the animations aren't set up within the buddies, uh, but they are being triggered. So as soon as we set them up, it, it'll just work, which I mean, you know, we, there's no extra like, oh, we got to go in and code this. So that's, that's a really nice uh, thing to just like kind of come out in the wash for us. So the other thing I wanted to talk about was I did start streaming recently. I'm on Twitch now. Um, this is uh, the channel I've set up. It's just www.twitch.tv slash Let's Dev with Greg. Um, I'd love for you guys to come check it out. I haven't, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, again, I'll post the link to this in the description. Alrighty, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, again, I should be trying to stream sometime this week. Um, I'll try to ping you guys when I do that so you know that it's happening. Uh, I'll probably most likely be working on uh, art stuff, so the pixel animations, the buddy uh, buddies animations. Uh, maybe we'll dig into some more tile sets, like a cave tile set, a castle tile set, stuff like that. Um, so tune in for that. Thanks for watching. This has been Less Dev with Greg. End of the weekend here. Hope you guys had a good one. Fallout 4 comes out soon. I know everyone's excited for that. Let's get out of here. Go play that game.